Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. I've got my word here. I want to talk to you tonight as we are in the final moments of the end of days about the mark of the beast. Now, get your Bibles open, if you will. And we're going to go to Revelation 13, um, verse 16. And it says, He causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead, so that no one may buy or sell. Now I'm in verse 17. Except he who has the mark of the name, the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, I'm going to tell you what I believe the mark of the beast is that we're seeing it unfold before our very eyes. Now, it's absolute the antichrist is going to cause everyone to get the mark of the beast read the entirety of scripture for yourself if they do not they will not be able to buy or sell and we know from the word of god that if they do not accept that mark of the beast they will if you're going to live for jesus if you're going to receive him at that point they will have to um die for Christ, meaning they will be beheaded. This is biblical. This is in the word of God. So praise God that the bride is out of here. We leave left behind letters and videos and everything because you you have to know censorship has already begun on social media platforms. And honestly, the minute this happens, you know that these channels will be gone. And there'll be another, uh, you know, there'll be other scenarios, which I've shared on other videos. Anyway, where are we seeing this happen? Well, we have seen, I don't know, and I know that I've had pets that I've rescued that have had RFID chip or that technology in them that if they're lost, you can find them. At one point, shelters, and this goes back, I don't know, just go back 20 years. It goes back quite a bit of time. It was in the news in the U.S. Um, July of 2017. There's a company in Wisconsin called Three Square Market uh, where they allowed and permitted, they encouraged employees to get the RFID chip in their hand that would allow them access without keys to the buildings. It would allow them to get things from the vending machine Basically, it for security, it gave them access to things. Um, recently in the news, thousands in Sweden have opted to have the RFID chip placed in them, which will replace, again, similar things. They'll be able to get into government places, into buildings, into secure areas. It will replace bank cards credit cards, all kind of things that they'll be able to do. It will be able to store medical information, their history, all those kinds of things. And and frequently, now they say that they can put it anywhere, but frequently they put it in the right hand between the thumb and the forefinger right here in that, you know, in that area that's a little bit uh, flappy, if you will. I guess that's not a nice word, but, uh, you know, right there, right in that area. That's often where they put it. Now, CBS came out with a report uh, the day after Christmas that um, people are going to have the option, it's coming, to replace cards uh, like shopping, frequent shopper cards, credit cards, those kind of things by having the RFID chip. And in China, I've been talking a lot about China, in China, along with the millions and millions, I think 176 million cameras that have facial recognition, they can now uh, get facial recognition for students in school to see if they're actually paying attention and how they respond in the classroom, how they respond in the cafeteria line. Listen, in China, if you are not about the system and and what I, I believe that Xi Jinping, the president, has elevated himself to emperor status 
that lowers your social credit score. That can impact your ability to travel and buy and sell. It's, it's already the Antichrist system, the one world the globalist government is being established and China is going to be big in that. They already are now requiring some of the schools in southern China, the students to wear uniforms that have RFID chip technology in it so that they know the whereabouts of the students and they can, basically they're going to cut down on truancy. If the students aren't in school, they're going to know it. Um, again, they're, it, it's unbelievable the capability because they want to know where everyone is, what you're saying, what you're doing on social media. It impacts their social credit scoring. That, folks, this is there before our very eyes. There's no place those students will be able to go that they don't know where they are. And so they're able to track them and they're able to tell. And then you add the social, the facial recognition. Wow, those, can you imagine living under that? The point is, we already have a company in the U.S. Thousands in Sweden are doing this. Other European countries are employing this now, making it available. And the truth is, it's been around for decades. It, it, it started, listen, RFID technology, chip technology, if you have a bank debit card and it's now got the chip in it, you've got the same kind of technology. They've been using it in livestock. They've been using it in assembling cars as they go through the assembly line. They, they can track exactly where it is and what's happening. They, they use it on pharmaceuticals, the tracking. This technology is there. You don't think the technology is there and that knowledge is exceeding when you think about artificial intelligence and just everything that's going on, the ability of companies that they'll be able to deliver. Look, the way that we shop and buy now has changed. How many people buy online? I live in the Midwest, and I can tell you as you travel, many of the malls that were once thriving, they're, they're malls that I go to that more stores are closed than are open. And people are doing Amazon Prime and people are ordering from other companies. And I'm not against people ordering that way, but the technology is there for drones to be able to drop your packages off. Smart GPS, artificial intelligence technology is there. People are loading their homes as smart homes. It, it, your phone, the cell phone, the smartphones that you carry, it can track where you're at. Like, seriously, folks. The technology is there. Now, some will say, well, you don't know that that's what the mark of the beast is. No, you're absolutely right. The Bible doesn't say it's an RFID chip technology. But I'm going to tell you something. It very well could be. And I have a strong suspicion that it will be. And the fact that most of the people, even in Sweden now, are getting it put into their right hands. Listen, whether it is or isn't, the technology is there for the Antichrist system. It's coming. You're having countries like China now. You, if you don't meet their standards, think about the day when the Antichrist and the false prophet, and, and when you don't, like in China, like those Muslims, those oilers in um, Turkestan, who will not renounce their faith. They're in internment camps. They're being imprisoned. They're being tortured. Their children are being taken from them. And, and they'll be able with facial recognition to tell you what I do would give me a uh, the, probably the lowest social credit scoring. I don't care. Jesus is coming back soon for his bride. Listen, the technology is there now. Time is so so short. He is coming for his bride. My brothers and sisters, I hope you're encouraged, but how sobering and how exciting right now that we are in the final moments of the end of days. We see these things there. As I was praying today, as I was praying, as I was pondering this, and I was saying, Lord, even in this country, now, when you have mainstream media coming out, and saying, this is what's going to replace 
the credit cards, the plastic, the, the access cards to your gyms, to your schools, to government buildings. When we have, listen, they're already talking by 2020, the, the new real IDs that you'll have to get. Folks, we are. So look, it's almost 2019. Do, do you see what's happening? We, we're there. We are there. Should the Lord tarry, because he could come at any moment. I'm just so excited. I can barely stay in my skin sometimes when I think about the Lord and that he's coming so soon for us. Listen, I know there are certain... I know there are those who say, oh, Pastor Tim, you're off your rocker. Call me whatever you want. But I'm telling you, the stage is set. The dominoes are lined up. One event. So I was telling you, as I was pondering these things and praying, the Spirit quickened me. And this is the word I got. There are about to be a lot of suddenlies. A lot of suddenlies. We are seeing prophetic things speed up. What do I mean by suddenlies? Well, brothers and sister, sisters, we have never been closer to seeing Isaiah 17, the complete destruction of um, Damascus. We have never been closer to seeing Ezekiel's war, and we are so close to that harpazo, that great catching away. Praise God. And it's going to be suddenly. In fact, the Bible says it will be, in 1 Corinthians 15, in the twinkling of an eye. It's Think about that. Blink your eyes real quick. It's like 1 40th of a second. It's like a fierce grabbing away. Our bridegroom is going to take us out of here. So, in the meantime, we occupy and redeem the time. But I wanted you to be aware, this technology, December 26, CBS reported that this is coming to the United States. This is what's coming. China is already implementing it in the uniforms of the students. Sweden has thousands of people getting these chips. Other countries have people doing it. Other companies in other countries are doing this. And right here, in the U.S., in July of 2017, it was all over the news that Wisconsin company offered it. Now, not everyone did. It wasn't mandatory. The technology is there. And it will one day be mandatory for the mark of the beast. But you know what? I praise Jesus that I am saved by grace through faith. And, and I don't have to worry about that. But I do want those who are left behind. We want to leave what information we can because you know I've done videos on the scenario that I, I firmly believe there's going to be an alien, I, I believe a possible scenario, a very probable scenario based on what the Vatican is doing with the telescope on Mount Graham, uh, with, with saying that there are... Um, Aliens are not aliens. They are fallen angels. And, and I've given the scenario, so I'm not going to give it again. But people are going to be so deluded. We want to leave one information. And if you are listening to this and you have not believed on Jesus, if you haven't received his gift of salvation, if you're listening and you say, Pastor Tim, I've, I've never, I've never actually, you know, made that decision, meaning I've, I've never actually come to understand that, that Jesus is who he said he was. If you believe that he was born of a virgin, that he was born in the flesh, fully God, fully human, he left glory, he laid down glory, he's always existed, he never had a beginning, he is part of the Godhead, one God, one God, in three persons. We believe in the triune God, but one Godhead, the Trinity, we believe in that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that Jesus 
always haven't existed, eternally existed, that he became flesh, incarnate, lived a perfect life, shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary, died, and on the third day was raised from the dead. If you believe that, Romans 10, 9, and 10 apply. If you confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with the heart that man believes and is justified, and it is with the mouth that confession is made unto salvation. Listen, I want to encourage you. If you believe what I just said, tell him you believe. It, it's good to tell him. Repentance means a change of mind. I'm changing my mind. I'm not trusting in man. I'm not trusting in secular humanism. I'm not trusting in religion. I'm trusting. I'm saved by grace through faith. I believe Jesus. Tell him. Tell him you're sorry and that you, you're repenting. You're turning. I mean, that's an about face. That's a change of mind. You believe he is the Lord, meaning what he did. He paid the debt for your sins. That sacrifice was good once and for all. Tell him. Talk to him. You, you don't need someone to lead you in, in their word of prayer. Tell him. Tell him you're sorry. It's good to tell God you're sorry when you do wrong. Listen. I, I've said this before, and I've gotten criticized for it. I came to faith in Jesus Christ at the age of five. And I, I, I said my prayer to Jesus. My prayer, it was real. I believe. And since that time, I've only committed two sins. Now, hold on. Too many to count. But every sin, my past, present, and future sins where the debt was paid by the blood of the Lamb. If I died tonight and I stood before my holy God and he said to me, I, I say this to our youth all the time, why should I let you into heaven? Because Jesus was the perfect one who was able to pay the debt for my sin on the cross at Calvary by shedding his precious blood. He died. He was buried. He stole the keys from hell, death, and the grave. And on the third day, he rose from the grave, from the dead. He was raised from the dead. And because he was, and my faith in him, I am saved, I am sealed, and I am sanctified. My sanctification was 100% complete when I came to faith, when I was saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. And sanctification, I also believe, is progressive. I continue as I study the word, study to show myself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I continue to grow in Christ-like character as I'm in the word, as I pray. But don't think that it's by works that I'm kept. I wasn't saved by works. I'm not kept by works. Works flow. The fruits of the Spirit flow from a life that, that has been has come to faith, that has been saved. That's why we use the word saved, that has been born again. It's a regenerating work of the Holy Spirit, praise God. And because of that, I am assured, I am assured that, that should the Lord tarry before the rapture, which won't be long, <clears throat> but if I were to die tonight, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And on that day, as 1 Thessalonians 4, 13, 18 says, the Lord himself shall descend with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God and the dead in Christ. So if I die tonight, while the remains of my body may remain here on this, on this earth, when that happens and the Lord descends into the clouds, the smallest particle of my body, it has been redeemed by what Jesus Christ did. And it will be glorified, but it will be called up to meet me with the Lord in the air. And then those who are alive will be called up together. And I believe that I'm going to see that. We, are, we don't know the day nor hour, but we know the season we're in. Brothers and sisters, I am so excited. I hope that you can, that you can sense. And when the Lord gave me that suddenly, I said, oh, precious Savior, I know, I know. We are seeing so many things happen. And suddenly, we're going to be caught up out of here. I just, I, I'll tell you what, you spend time in the Word and time praising God, it just kind of burst out of you. Man, we serve an awesome God. And I know I've been under attack. I, I know what, what many of you are going through. I just want you to know God loves you fiercely and passionately, and so do I. Well, God bless you, and have an awesome rest of your day. And who knows? 
Who knows? We may meet in the clouds. Who knows? Very soon. Who knows if we'll even see a sunrise tomorrow. I'm not, I am not saying we're getting rapture day, but I am saying we could be raptured today. We could be raptured at any moment. And I will meet you, my dear and beloved brothers and sisters, in the clouds in the air. And we encourage each other with this. And we will be with our Lord forevermore. Glory to God. Well, I got to stop because I'm about to have, I'm, I'm preaching myself happy here and I'm not even preaching. I'm just sharing with you, my brothers and sisters. But I, I do. I love you and I appreciate you. God bless you.